I'm once again coming to you live from my living room. I'm missing Hunter. I recently, after ThreadUp had their, you can kind of see the polka dots, after ThreadUp had their 30, not after, while ThreadUp was having their 30% off sale after St. Patrick's Day, I was like, yay, I finished my death pile. So now I can order boxes. I ordered five. I ordered 225 item like mixed clothing I ordered a kids box I ordered a DIY fabric box which I I'm not going to explain it here you should watch the video of why I ordered it and what I got it was it was interesting it was different than I expected and actually better than I anticipated so there's that and then I ordered a shoe box now shoe boxes I've had a really good one a really horrible one and then a uh, I guess this is okay box. So this is, I think, my fourth box. I might maybe have ordered more. It doesn't matter. This is my fourth box I've ordered from ThreadUp. This one came from Phoenix, Arizona. Yes, I can confirm. This one came from Phoenix, Arizona. And, y'all, I was too antsy. I opened it right away. So I already know what's in it. I'm happy with it. Um, so here we go. We're going to start off. Oops, there's a pair of shoes in here that do not belong in here, but that my friend Kelly sent me. First up are these pair of New Balance tennis shoes. I did not put these back in here very well. These New Balance tennis shoes. Now, I'm pretty sure there were some like, yep, there's some marks on them. I just need to throw them in the wash, but they're great tennis shoes. So there's there's that. Um, that, was, that was New Balance, yep, yep. This brand is, I forget, Alfani. And it's this brown riding boot. Now, on this one, I did notice there was some peeling coming up. I didn't notice it at first, but then I did. And I don't think these are genuine leather or anything like that. So these are probably going to get donated. Next up, when I saw these shoes, I was like, oh, I don't want these. But then I saw that they are the brand Bionic, which is a great brand to sell. I don't know how this style will do, but they're in pretty good shape. So excited about those. I was excited once I saw the brand. Then there were these Nike fly knit tennis shoes. They're in like the tread is all there. Here's the mate tread all there. And they're in really good shape. And I should probably get these listed soon because they're black and gold. And if you remember, if you remember, some of you, this is your first time here. I'm from Iowa. And so the Iowa women's basketball team, University of Iowa, is doing really well. These are their colors, black and gold. I went to Iowa State, but that's another story. My husband went to Iowa. Okay, I just threw, you know what, here. My donate pile's off to the side. These are Time and True, which is just sold at Walmart. But honestly, they're in good shape. I know some people sell Time and True and are like, well, I get like, 10 bucks for them so i make like seven dollars so i don't i don't know shoes are pretty easy for me to list i just don't like listing them so that's why sometimes i buy these boxes to push myself like do it nicole these were carlos by santana yes size nine i don't think i've said the sizes on the other ones the new balances were seven and a half the bionics are eight and a half and the nikes were nine and a half and the time and true are a size nine yeah so then these i used to like love wearing shoes like this now i'm all about <laughs> comfort shoe brands <laughs> uh, all right next up i these crack me up oops they're from the brand why not that's the the little label but are these not just on point? I'm gonna definitely use like some Beyonce, Cowboy Carter, keywords. Western is already just like in style, like that boho Western country. And then Beyonce has just blown it out of the water. So I'm gonna use those kind of keywords when I list those. These are from the brand, I forget. Oh my gosh, I should have made a list. Oh yes, five, six, or six, seven, something like that. I think you can see it. Six, seven, size 41. So these are like a nine and a half, 10. And they're these little booties, which are very like, also like boho Western. They give me like Sedona-y vibes. The heels are a little, you know, not perfect, but 
also not terrible. So excited about those. Yes, I am. I don't know what I'm doing there. Did I say I, size 41? Yes. Here's the other New Balance. And I know, yep, this one had a mark on it for sure. But like, great little easy tinny, which are very popular right now. Okay. Here is a for sure donate. Croft and Barrow. Barrow, Barrow. They're just, there's a, not worth seeing. I mean, it's pretty straightforward of why I'm donating those. Um, here's another donate. I had these out of the box. Uh, Union Bay. Target throwback. Y'all, this, no, not Target. Kohl's? Kohl's throwback. Kohl's, do they still sell Union Bay? I don't know, but these, they're not in bad shape. They're just... I don't know. Maybe this is another thing like the time and true where it's like just this is like a size sticker size seven where it's like just list them and get a couple of bucks. No, I'm not. These bring me no joy. And yeah, yeah, no. OK, these, though, I, I, I saw these in the box. And I was like, OK, <laughs> these are screaming prom 2025 and or 2025. 2025 prom 2025 nicole prom 2005 or i bet you can use your imagination there might be a poll involved which is also a really good exercise and um i have a friend who does that kind of like she does some like different dance exercise and she always is wearing heels and stuff like that size nine so good size and all the little jewelry things are intact all right, I was excited about this brand as well, or these shoes as well. I have not sold a shoe from the brand J Crew. I don't know if it'll come through very well, but I love selling J Crew, but I've just never so sold their shoes. And I'm pretty sure it's leather. Yeah, upper leather, lining leather, which is pretty sweet. And like, how cute are these for the summer, right? Someone needs these for a trip. They are a size nine. I better not try them on. We are going some fun. We have some fun trips planned ahead. These are the brand Blowfish, which I'm iffy on if I'm if I want to list these or not. Blowfish. They're in pretty good shape. It's just shoes like this don't bring me joy, but that doesn't mean they don't bring someone else joy, right? So, you know what? If it's hard for me to decipher the size, like it has the sticker, but it's clearly worn off. I feel like I feel like my mother right now. I'm like, <laughs> trying to look for it. I don't see the, a clear size. Most of these have been around a size nine. So honestly, I might actually donate these. Shoot. Of course, when I'm like, yeah, I'm going to donate these. I'm like, dang it. Maybe I did want those. <laughs> I did want to sell those. Um, I think I have one more donate. And then I will show you the last pair. It's a good last pair. Um, these, what are, what's this brand? Ma Pa, I can't, like that kind of writing is too funky. These are a size 10. Now, will I still look these up? Yes, but I feel like these are like sold at Kohl's, Walmart, Target, something like that. I'm sure someone is screaming at their TV or laptop right now, like they're sold here, they're sold here. But yeah, I don't know. Maybe since I'm not selling the Blowfish, I'll sell these. I think I was apprehensive. Target, ha, found it on the inside it says target can you see it right there I got my nails done today Pretty. um y'all uh, i'll probably donate those oh i don't think i said how much i paid for this box either 80 dollars 30 percent off let's see 10 percent would be eight dollars times three can you tell i'm a fourth grade teacher so 24 dollars off you do the math i'll put you know what right here i'll put the math do you think that's been long enough it has been okay and then last i have never found this brand i have never sold this brand and i feel like i always see people get it in their boxes but i never have and y'all i have Miss Tori Birch. And it's this like bohemian, 
leather strappy cute ass heel little scuffing but like <laughs> also just adds to the character if you ask me but these are in phenomenal shape and they're size nine and a half again i do not need to try these on yep leather upper leather lining wood man-made sole it's freaking sick cool so this was my last pair when i saw these i was like oh, i got tori birch now it's not like a miller sandal or some of those that are like more well known that everyone's like oh, i love like a like a blogger favorite don't i just have stuff everywhere y'all life of a mom a teacher a wife a reseller a life you know what just a life period so i'm excited about these these are great i'm actually i'm really excited about this box so like i, I didn't do the math for you all on how much i spent obviously i'm gonna show you but um i think it came out to like four dollars and something cents for uh each pair and i can't get shoes at that like I can get shoes around that that price at my thrift stores at my Goodwills um and so I have like one two three four five six seven eight nine nine or ten pair that I'm going to list out of 15 so um two-thirds two-thirds not bad 66.6666666 percent repeating I've got math on the brain I'm a teacher. So anyway, thank you for being here. This is kind of a short and quick video. It was kind of nice opening it beforehand and then showing you because then I was able to kind of look things over a little bit. I do love a surprise unboxing though. And so I still have two boxes, a 25 item unboxing. My last one was tragic, tragic. I'll make my money back, but not super happy about it. And then the fabric box, which was really cool. It was just cool to do and I um unbox that with my mom some of you have seen my athletic unboxing um activewear unboxing and I did that with my mom and y'all loved it so any hoosies I hope y'all have a great day if you feel so inclined like and subscribe please and thank you I think all the buttons are down here probably somewhere right okay bye